if you're a student like me, no, na w- walang surplus of money and walang side hustle, umaasa pa lang sa allowance ng magulang natin, pero gusto mo mag-invest. You are thinking sa future na gusto mo din ng money-money agad. Pero wala kang pera today. So this video is for you. For disclaimer, I'm not an expert by any means. I'm just an accountancy student. I've been reading self-help books a lot and listening to financial experts. I want to share it with you guys what I learned so far because this is worthy to share. It it is worthy to share, you know. Lahat ng sabihin ko is from different people na expert in their field. I collected their good points and shared it with you in this video. Okay. Open your ears. I want you to listen to what I'm going to tell you. Not everyone is aware of this, especially students, no. But the good, or perhaps a great investment, habang bata pa tayo, no, the good investment habang bata pa tayo, habang young pa, habang student pa, and if you are the kind of student na walang pera, just like me, no, is in yourself. Investment is investment in yourself. The finest investment you can make is in yourself. According to kay, according to according to Warren Buffett, the best investment you can make is in yourself. No? Pag nag-invest ka sa sarili mo, guaranteed 100x, 100 times return sa future. Yes, the greatest investment nga is investment in yourself. But that idea is big pa. No? So the question is, how? Paano? Right, I'm going to list four focus on how to invest in yourself na hindi tinuturo sa schools. Okay. Number one is communication. Perhaps this is the best investment you could make. This came from Warren Buffett words. If they, student, just learn to communicate better both in writing and speaking, they increase their value at 50%. Si Warren Buffett na nagsabi niyan, no? Warren Buffett is kasama's billionaire, richest man in the world, uh, business owner, and investor. Ito yung isa sa mga criteria ng mga employer pag naghahanap sila ng mga employee, no? Nung maganda yung communication skill. So, ano ba yung tutukoy na communication skill ni Warren Buffett dyan, no? Hindi lang yan communicating, nakikipag-usap ka, nakikipag-chikahan ka, but you have to be able to get forth your ideas, yung kaya mo share sa group of people or sa crowd yung idea mo, no? To listen and be open. May tawag chance Stephen Kobe, stewardship delegation. Yung kaya mo may utilize yung people around you, y- na na y- yung kaya mo ma delegate na y- the right level of responsibility and empower others. Sabi nga ni Nicholas Putman. The, the better you are at connecting with other people, the better the quality of your life. Number two, financial IQ. Information about financial IQ is very common. No? So, paano naman natin siya ma-apply sa mga students? So, ito lang yung mantra ko about finances. No? Delay instant gratification. Delay as much as possible. No? Let us avoid inflation lifestyle. Bata pa lang, no? Students pa lang, avoid na natin yung inflation lifestyle. So, ganito lang gagawin mo. Make a habit na if nagkaroon ka ng allowance, mag-cut ka na dun ng 20% or even 30% or just 10% na ilalagay mo sa ipon mo. No, halimbawa, binigay ka ng 500 ng mama mo ng allowance, yung 100 pesos dun, diretso mo na ilagay sa ipon mo. Yung 400, you can exp- y- yung 400 pesos, you can spend it Freely na, no? without guilt feeling. The important thing doon is maging habit mo yung delaying gratification, no? delaying instant gratification. Kasi madadala mo yun pag nag-work ka na, pag nag-earn ka na ng money. No? Pag marami kang pera and you spend it like ano, no? one day billionaire, no? very, very dangerous yun. No? The important thing is maging habit mo yung de- instant delaying instant gratification kasi madadala mo yun pag nag-work ka na pag nag-earn ka na ng money no? ang pinaka-iiwasan mo is to spend every money you get that will pay off in the future number three good habit the quality of our lives depend on the quality of our habits yung sinabi ni James Clear good habit is broad topic no? but I'm going to deduct it into two 
One is exercise. Exercise, di ba pang matanda lang yan? Actually, it's not. If you're in 30s and 40s, and dun ka pa nag-start na agaan yung body mo, you will feel rusty. No? Ang ideal talaga is 20s before ka mag-30. Just exercise, no? jogging or brisk, working, brisk walking every day, or stretching. Di mo lang, di mo lang siya ma-appreciate ngayon. No, no, kasi you are young and strong, but trust me, no, maraming benefits ang pag-exercise every day na nag-start pa lang sa pagkabata. No? The important is to make it a habit again, kasi maladala mo sa pagtanda mo yung palaging pag-exercise. And again, it will pay off in the future. Two is reading. Reading? Ang boring naman yan. That's boring. Yes, I admit, no. That's why you should start to read books or novels you are interested in. Then, transition it with self-help books. Self-help books is super amazing. No? It will become an eye-opener to you. It can change your life. Yung mga experiences, yung life lessons sa mga persons older than us is summarized sa mga books. Yung lessons na natutunan nila throughout their lifetime malalaman mo without actually experiencing it. And I think it is more efficient rather than ma-realize mo ang buong buhay 70 years old ka na. Plus, did you know all successful billionaires people around the world, they have one thing in common. They like reading. Number four, practice positive attitude. Okay, this is a hard one, no? And a broad topic too. So in short, what I mean about attitude is not mainly in character, no? It is how you perceive things around you. Your attitude towards life, a mental attitude. If you have a positive attitude to your surroundings, everything around you will be positive. Likewise, if you have a negative mindset, lahat ng pangyayari sa'yo parang magiging malas, no? Laging pangit yung nangyayari. Our surroundings reflects our mental attitude. So if we don't like it, you must first modify our attitude. So when I say positive attitude, I mean radiate confidence and assurance that you are successful. No? How you see things make a difference. So how can you have a positive attitude? This is according to Earl Nightingale. Begin to act as though you have a good positive expectant attitude towards life. Remember, your mind can hold one thought at a time. Being negative is not an option, so be positive. People with the best attitude gravitates to the top. So that's it, the four focus on how to invest in yourself. This not might be the investment you are expecting, no? This is not in G-Invest, stocks, crypto, no? Lahat ng sinabi ko dito is not easy no? if you don't have willingness and desire to change. But if you do, here's the bonus tip for you. Begin in small steps, small changes. This is according to James Clear, no? Every action we take is both for the entity we like. If you want to be CPA, you have to choose kung saan mo gusto. So you have to choose kung saan mo gusto mag-boat. No? Maging MM player or CPA. Maglaro o mag-aral. Mag-change or not to change. Mag-take action or not to take action. Remember, no, if you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. So, if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Para naman pumasok to sa algorithm ng YouTube. At makarating din sa marami pang tao. And comment your thoughts below.